Mason and I am going to be cooking for you today and everybody thank you for having me at your awesome fair. Happy Fourth of July! Woo! So and I would like to give a big shout out and a thank you to our service members. So woo! Today what I'm going to be cooking for you is I'm going to be cooking three dishes. I'm going to be cooking a side dish called salad on a stick, then chicken on a stick, and a brownie berry bite. So, of course, we're at a fair, and we eat food on a stick, so that's my theme for today. What, what makes chicken the best? It is called Spike, right here, Spike. And Spike is great, you can put it on anything, but it tastes amazing on chicken. Let's Start on the chicken and kind of make it in kind of like a kind of swirly kind of shape. So like the stick when the chicken is going up, the sticks on the bottom down here. Kids are, like to eat fun food, and what's funner than food on a stick? Like right, corn dogs. We got all those fun kind of things, and I, so many, so many of them. I can only name one. A caramel apple. Exactly, caramel apple. You are fire today, and I'm gonna take these off because they got chicken all over them. You don't want to get out. We got um, a snow citrus quart, which they make a lot of mandarin sauces, uh, marmalades, all kinds of things. And I was thinking maybe we could make these things into a sauce. So easily we figured out. Oh my gosh, this would be so easy to just put a little bit of this in a cup with some sriracha sauce to give it a little kick and have it sweet. Kind of like sweet now and savory. Start on our salad on the stick. But there's a catch. Kids don't really like to eat just plain salad on a salad. They like because with the crunchy textures of the broccoli and the cauliflower, they don't like those. So what the trick is to lightly steam them. And then the, that crunchy texture kind of goes away. Once you're done with steaming them, what you're going to do is you're just going to push them onto the stick just like this. And these, um, right here I'm going to cut in half. I'm going to, because I like cutting. This is a radish, but it's not the crazy spicy kind of radish. It's the sweeter kind of radish that kids will like a lot more than the spicy and bitter kind of radish that, well, kids don't really like that kind of flavor. So, oh my gosh, I forgot to put the broccoli on. Boom. And an amazing salad on a stick. Okay, um, now you're gonna take, um, that was a teaspoon of cayenne. Now you're gonna take a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of granulated, granulated garlic, Oh, did I say teaspoon for the granulated garlic? Okay, good. <laughs> um, tablespoon of dried onion. Um, three tablespoons of dried parsley. One tablespoon of dried dill. Uh, and one and, a, one and a half tablespoons of garlic powder. <laughs> Mix in the ranch. Mix in the ranch. If you do brownie berry bites at home, freeze your brownies. Because then it would be a lot easier to put it on the stick without having it get all like slimy and all kinds of stuff on the stick. And why else do we freeze our brownies? What does it make them? Moist up. Moist up. It makes them moist up. What we're going to do is we're going to take the top of the strawberry, just like this. And we're going to stick it in, just like that. Take the brownie, just like that. And what's cool is it looks like the strawberry is biting down on the brownie, so it's a brownie berry bite. Um, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this marshmallow and put it on just like that, and then on top, and there you have your brownie berry bite. Crazy moms. I know, it's like, that's the biggest one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you.